What's going on, y'all? JT here with an unboxing and look at something kind of new to the channel. I told you guys I was going to get into this gradually. I just have to make time to do it. So this is going to be actually my first drone. So I did go ahead and pull the trigger and I got the Snapton SP600 drone. I got this for a reason because it does from just what I've seen of this company before. They do make some pretty good drones. It's a pretty good entry level drones. It's not that difficult to get, <clears throat> excuse me, all bound up and flying and stuff like that. And I also chose this one because of some of the features that you have there. You guys see it has that two axis gimbal. And this is going to be good because it's going to help stabilize some of the video while in flight. So I do plan on doing a couple of things with that as well. Um, you guys see it has an HD camera, adjustable camera. It's got gestures for uh, video and photo control, which I'm going to put all this into play and test all this. Out. Like I said, this is going to be my first drone with this so uh fingers 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 crossed <laughs> it should go well with that um but i'm looking forward to getting this up and stuff as well especially some of the follow me um functions with it and i believe it has a gps kind of return to home and stuff as well so i'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna crack this open real quick and kind of see what we got up in here so give me just a minute let's go ahead and get this box open all right got this out and this is packed up in here pretty nice uh, activate your 12 month warranty so I can scan that QR code. It's probably gonna take me somewhere where I can go ahead and um, get all that activated and stuff with it. So uh, we do get an instruction manual with this and I'll take a quick look at this in just a second. Y'all know I'm really gonna be reading this because I really need to get familiar with this. I don't wanna be a, a, a meme a picture of a guy chasing a drone and your drone stuck up in a tree or something like that. Um, so this is gonna be the radio controller for it. Look at that in just a second and pull this out as well. Get that up, push this to the side, put that over here real quick and see kind of what we got up in here. Um, this probably looks like some landing gear or something like that. I have to check this out to see what that is. And cool, extra blades. That's good. <laughs> I love getting extra parts and stuff and get this out. Over here is probably the camera, something that attaches to this. Yep, so all right, let me uh, get all this unpackaged real quick and let's see what we got. All right, y'all, we got this all laid out in all its glory and stuff. So they do give you instruction manual um, that is more detailed and they also give you a quick start guide. Now the quick start guide is gonna tell you about some of the accessories and getting this set up quickly as well. And then the instruction manual, course goes a little bit more in depth so i do advise like i gotta like i'm gonna have to do is go through this instruction manual and stuff and then some of the accessories and stuff they give you with this um of course they give you some extra propellers which i love it when i get extra stuff you guys know that it could be some extra screws i'm gonna be happy <laughs> so with that and they do give you the propeller guards and stuff as well uh some landing gear right there and then they give you of course the screws and stuff for that and they also give you a little tool um as well to work with these because these screws these these Phillips head screws in here are really small so i'm glad they at least give you a tool to work with that and then they also give you two different types of charging jacks as well now i'm gonna tell y'all right now i'm not an expert on drones this is gonna be my first actual hobby grade drone so i'm kind of excited about going with this now i've heard a lot of good things about uh snapton so that's why i went ahead and went with this particular drone in this company because i've seen the reviews for them they've all been good and positive so I think I'll have a good experience with this because the other drones that I've had before have more or less been Walmart drones. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> they were about the size of my hand. <laughs> and when the wind blew, they went right with the wind. So um, anyway, you do get the battery and stuff with it as well. And then you get two charging jacks. One jack is gonna be uh, for charging your radio and stuff up. And the other one's gonna be actually for charging the battery for the drone and stuff as well. So I'm glad they do give you that as well, which I'm pretty sure just about every drone gives you that as well. There may be some exceptions out there. Um, so moving that to the side real quick, um, looking at the radio. I love these radios because I always say they transform. Um, they're in one form and then they go back to another. But this has a lot of features on it as well. I can get this in here real quick. Of course, you can mount your cell phone and stuff on here. Uh, close this up. Close that down, transform that there. There we go, I'm looking at this up close. So you guys see it's got a lot of different uh, buttons on here for functionality. It's got a return button, GPS. Uh, I don't know what the compass button's for. Takeoff and landing, of course the power um, and things like that on there as well. 
and then they have you guys can see it there they have a button for photo and for video and you can increase your speed and stuff so this is going to be interesting um as well it's gonna be my first time like i said flying something that's not just toy grade it's gonna be more or less hobby grade and i'm gonna have to get used to using the stick type of radio again which is no problem with that and looking real quick at the drone uh the drone my hand you guys see how big that is so this is going to be perfect for me to get out there and get to flying this and of course the battery is going to go in there um as well and then i did see some ports on the side that's probably if you have video and to load the video up and stuff like that or download the video from here so like i said i'm gonna have to look at a few things on here to familiarize myself with this particular drone and some of the features and functionalities of it. but i am excited because it is something new and something that i said i was gonna bring in in 2020 is just yeah i know 2020 has been an interesting year <laughs> so um but i'll be having this put together really soon and then i'm gonna actually get with a friend um to help me with you know the flight the setup for because i know a couple people that do fly and have a little bit have a lot more experience i ain't gonna say a little bit a lot more experience than i do but i do plan on like i said getting this out first and getting this up and flying i'm excited i really am excited to get this going and get some video footage as well um with this and flying around the neighborhood and chasing rc cars around and getting some um some views of my cars running from you know up in the air and stuff like that so i think that'll be pretty cool as well so anyway guys i'm gonna leave a link in the description for this this is gonna cost you about 189 at the time of this video and you guys know that this stuff kind of sells out quick so that's kind of why i'm going through this unboxing right now and showing this to you guys i'll have a a setup test up pretty soon i set up video up pretty soon and then get some flight tests and stuff as well and then show you guys some of the functionality stuff of it so anyway guys Appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching.